Start broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Thank you for joining us. On behalf of Urban Expositions, welcome to this Exhibitor Marketing Webinar. My name is Kat, and I'm one of your customer service representatives here at Segmark Solutions. We're here today to tell you about Urban Expositions' free show marketing program. We do have a few housekeeping notes. I want to let you know that we are recording today's webinar, and it will be linked, there will be a link posted to the Exhibitor portion of the show's website. If you are having any difficulty hearing us today and are listening through your computer, please check to see that your speaker volume is turned up. If you're still having problems hearing through your computer, please consider dialing in through the conference call line. The dial-in information was included in the link that was sent to you to confirm today's webinar. Please feel free to ask questions throughout the webinar using the questions box located to the right side of your screen in the control panel. We will respond to questions throughout the presentation and have also designated time for questions at the end as well. Today we have with us Joe Watson from Segmark Solutions who will provide us with an explanation of the types of promotional invitations and walk us through the steps in how to order them and how to use them. But before I start turn things over to Joe, let me just introduce the customer invitation program. The Florida Restaurant and Lodging Show's customer invitation program is accessed through an online marketing portal and is a free marketing opportunity that is provided to all of our exhibitors. While we already do a tremendous amount of attendee marketing, the customer invitation program is an excellent way to ensure the customers and prospects that you know receive an invitation from you to attend the show. This is a great way to market and promote your business, including your location and booth number at the show. By ordering your free customized invitations, you can save your customers and prospects the $65 on-site registration fee. This savings is open to the trade only, and unfortunately no one under the age of 18 will be admitted. There are two online components to this program, free customized web banners and customized email invitations. There are three size options for the customer web banners, customized web banners, and you are more than welcome to order all three. For the email invitation, you also have several options. Both of these components are very easy to order and the process is extremely user friendly. And now I would like to introduce Joe Watson who will begin with the customized web banners and walk us through the program. Joe? Thank you very much, Kat, and welcome to everyone uh, listening in today. Uh, before we get started, I just want to uh, be sure, I'm going to mention this a couple times throughout the seminar, that this program is absolutely free. There is, uh, there is no charge to use the program. Uh, there, you can invite as many uh, guests as you would like. They will not be charged. Uh, you will not be charged. Uh, many exhibitors have already submitted orders and, um, you know, for emails and web buttons. Um, <clears throat> for the emails, we can deploy, deploy for you if you'd like. And again, um, there's really, you know, no limit to that um, with regards to, um, you know, people that sign up. Uh, once we start going over the emails, uh, we'll talk about, you know, there is a specific quantity, uh, you know, we can deploy up to 10,000, uh, but if you have more than that, let us know. So once again, um, I just want to stress the point that this program is absolutely free. Anyone using it, uh, whether it's the web button or the um, email, uh, and when they click the register button and they register through the portal, uh, they will save the on-site fee for the, the trade show. So again, um, this is a free program. Okay, so we're going to get started here, and we're going to uh, actually be going between a PDF that we've created with some explanation and the live ordering site. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go over to the live ordering site. This is the marketing portal. Um, everyone's gotten a link for this. If not, by all means, just reach out to us. We'd be more than happy. We've had a couple of promotions go out already to exhibitors, and we'll be sending others um, as we get closer to the show as well. So um, what you're looking at right now is the landing page. We're going to talk about the uh, web buttons first. And simply you would just click on the icon. And as you can see, there are three different buttons. Uh, we have a square button that uh, has several panels and it animates. We have another uh, button over here, and that one is, is great for um, emails. It's 300 by 200. And this one here is 160 
by 160, actually 400 by 400. But when you upload it to uh, your social media, it will reduce to 160 by 160. And that's what Facebook um, is looking for. Um, as Kat mentioned, and we just went over, there are three different buttons. There's the square digital, the email banner, and the social media banner. Uh, you can order all three simply just by putting a check in the box. If you don't even like to order two, that's fine, or even you know, just one. Then you would put in your booth number right here, your name, your company name, your email, and your phone number. Um, once again, this contact information is only for um, us. This way, if there's a question, um, we can reach out to you and uh, you know, your, your contact information really doesn't appear anyplace. So once you've chosen the button or buttons and you fill out this very short form, you just hit submit and then everything comes back to, uh, to us. And let's just go over here. Okay, so um, with the web banners, as I said, there's three different ones. Once you place your order, you will receive a, uh, an email from us. Each exhibitor, you'll notice here, this is a DGPP1. Each exhibitor has a unique link. Um, <clears throat> so what we do is we build that link for you. You'll receive this email. Uh, and the email will be your button or buttons, whatever you ordered. And then you can place them uh, on your website, in the e-newsletter, uh, social media, um, you know, wherever you would like, but we have to be absolutely sure to link it to this link right here. That's all done behind the scenes. Anyone um, you know, within your company that manages your website, uh, your social media platform, they'll know exactly what to do with this. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you a couple of different ways of utilizing the button. The first one is a, um, a sample website. And <clears throat> so what we've done right here is we've placed the button. As you can see, when I hover over it, it's right to the show's registration page. Uh, and you know, this button is linked behind the scenes um, to this right here. Okay, so again, this is a sample website. Um, you can do something like this with the button for your email signature. Um, again, you don't have to put the big long um, link. You would simply put the button. You could do something very simple like click here to register for the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Show. Um, you could put compliments of your company. You don't have to. You're you know, using your signature. Your company name is there already. But as you can see, when I hover over it, everything, um, everything lights up. I'm sorry. Um, when you hover over it, it's going to bring us right to the show's registration page. So once again, this is a website. This is an email signature sample. And if your company produces an e-newsletter, Here's another way of using it. <clears throat> um, once again, you can put the web button into your e newsletter. However, you don't have enough room for the web button or web banner. Um, you can do something like this. Visit us at the Florida Restaurant in Lodge And again, the word visit us is hyperlink to the link. So there's a variety of ways that you can use this button. So even if you wanted to, <clears throat> say you had salespeople in, in different parts of the country, you could simply take this click right here and send it off to the individual so that they forward it on to their customers. And everyone registering uh, through this program will put $65 on-site uh, trade show uh, fee, the show floor fee, and this program is 100% free. There's no charge at all uh, for to use this program. It's all included in your booth space. Joe, I'm just going to interject for a minute. It seems like there's been a little bit of an issue with some of you folks maybe seeing a, a little bit of a screen issue. Um, it's not on our end, and it looks like it's figured itself out. We 
have a, a separate computer here running so we can see what's going on also. It looks like it's uh, working its way out. Um, we did have a question in regards to the fact of would somebody be able to get this PDF. We can definitely send this PDF uh, to folks after the um, after the, the webinar concludes. And that's not a problem. Um, I think everything technology-wise is working correctly. It's not on the RN. It's actually through the um, through the, uh, the software of GoToWebinar, but it looks like it's worked itself out. But if anybody continues to have problems, just uh, put something into the question box so I can check on some things here technology-wise. And uh, again, apologize for that, but it's not a lot we can do about it. But it seems to have worked itself out. So, Joe, sorry. Great. Yep, not a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so once again, <laughs> this is a, a sample newsletter. And you could do something very simple like visit us, or you can go over here and uh, you know put the actual banner itself. And it's up to you which banner you like to use. So there are three banners. Um, you can use any one of the three. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back over to the live ordering site, and we're going to talk about the emails a little bit. Okay, so once you're here, uh, we're going to just click on an email invitation. And you can see that it's just opening up. Now there are three different templates. Uh, one of the templates has a single image. Another one has two images. And the third one has three different images. And also, as you can see, um, you know, the, the copy reduces um, with, the, you know, with the addition of the, the images. So what we're going to do here is we'll just choose the center one. And we're going to look at a little larger version. And for some reason, I do apologize, everything's moving a little bit slow today. I don't know if it's uh, internet, but um, it is working, fortunately. So once again, I've chosen the template that has two images. Uh, your company name would appear right here, and it's going to be bold and green. Right here would be your booth number and your company website. And then we have heading one with two paragraphs underneath it, and then heading two with two paragraphs underneath it. Let's just talk about that a little bit. You do not have to use heading one and heading two. If you only have enough information for heading one, paragraph one, that's fine. Um, you do not have to use all four paragraphs. And then as you, as you can see, moving down, your images would appear here, and the registration link right there. So once again, very simple ordering page. Company name goes right here. As you can see over to the right, we have some useful information. Uh, we do ask that you try and keep it to 45 characters. And the reason for that, let me just go up here a little bit, is if we, if, if we exceed more than 45 characters, <clears throat> what we're going to have to do is just reduce the point size slightly to, to make it fit, or it will truncate down to a second line. Then you would put in your booth number, your website. And again, when entering your website, you just need to put the www. The HTTP is not necessary. Heading one would go right here. And then you have two paragraph boxes, one and two. Once again, over here to the right, you will see that um, you know, we're, we, you know, we suggest 140 characters. Our system is not going to stop you. You don't have to count characters. However, that's that's a suggestion on our part. Um, as many of you know, you know that do send out a lot of emails. If you have a little less copy and maybe more visual, that that works much better. Uh, when we when people receive an email and there's a lot of copy, they tend not to read it all. So again, that's a suggestion. Our system is not going to stop you. Um, but you know that's it's really your choice. So heading one, paragraph one, paragraph two, heading two goes right here, and the same thing, paragraph one and two. Next, because we chose the template with two images, you would just browse off to your computer just as you would if you were sending an email, and you would attach um, your images. The first box would be the image on the left, and image number two would appear right here. Now, once again, over here on the right, <clears throat> you'll see where we request a JPEG, and we give you a size of 250 by 200. Now, 
Um, you do not have to worry about resizing it. We are more than happy to do that for you. Um, many exhibitors you know, send in images that are very large. That's not a problem. Um, that's our job. We're here to help you, and we'll be more than happy to uh, size everything for you. Um, with regards to the JPEG, our system will only accept a JPEG, uh, but again, not to worry. If you do not have a JPEG, what you could simply do is you could send us an email, um, maybe with your uh, GIF file, possibly your PDF, and we'll be more than happy to convert it to a JPEG, resize it, and send it back to you. And once again, you know, uh, you can reach us at orders at Urban Expo Invitation. Dot com. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, next we have a opt-out email, and you know that again, that's required. That um, you know, we always give everyone an option to opt out from the email, and that should be someone within your company that manages your your list. Now, moving down, you'll see a little check in this box. If you would like us to send your emails out for you, you would simply leave the box checked, browse out, give us your uh, email list. Again, we can send out up to 10,000 for you if you have a list that is larger than 10,000. Um, by all means, you could send it to us, give us a call. We're more than happy to check with show management. and. Uh, to see if we can get authorization to send it out for you. Uh, again, when you do send us the Excel file, you'll see over here that we're only asking for names. Um, <clears throat> regarding the uh, reply to email, that should be someone within your company uh, that could answer any questions. And then the next box down you're going to see deployment date. And in that in this box right here, you can give us the, the deployment date or dates, and we'll be more than happy to deploy for you. And let's talk about the deployment for you know just a quick moment. Um, we are a third party company, and uh, we do, you know, we run this program for many, many shows. We absolutely do not share lists with anyone. We do not share your list with show management. If you were to put a deployment in of, say, you know, tomorrow, uh, Friday the 12th, once your deployment um, leaves our system, we do remove the, um, your, your list from our servers. So once again, we absolutely do not share, uh, we do not sell, and we do remove from our servers. If, you, um, if your company has a non-disclosure you would like to send to us and have us sign, we're more than happy to uh, to do that. It looks like we have a couple of questions here. Yes, one actually has to do with the list. Um, the accepted file format uh, to upload is an Excel file. And again, as Joe explained, we only need to have one column with just email addresses. We don't need to have, you know, first name, last name, any other proprietary information on your list. Just your Excel file, one column, strictly just email list. Okay. So there's that. And then we've got another question here in regards to uploading the images. Um, again, just to reiterate what Joe said, um, just attach your images. We'll resize them on this end. We probably, what Joe, probably about 92% of the images that yeah. come in, we, we wind up resizing anyway. So don't go crazy. This whole program is meant to be extremely user friendly. Don't go crazy trying to format or size anything. We'll do it on this end. It takes us uh, you know, no time whatsoever when we're putting these together and doing the conversions for you. Um, in regards to the product images, you can upload a product image or your company logo. That was another question here. Um, could they upload a logo? And we can do the same thing. We can size a logo just as long as they're JPEGs. That's the main thing. And as Joe reiter I'll just reiterate again, if you don't have a JPEG, if you have a, a different file format of your image, just uh, send it to us in an email and we'll, we'll change it and convert it over to a JPEG and send it back to you for uploading with your, um, with your order. Um, another one here is, um, just see here, it's a little hard to see this. Um, someone does have a question in regards to being able to look at the email invitation before it goes out. And yes, you will, and I think Joe's going to get to that in a minute, so we'll do that in a second. And then there is one uh, question in regards to the limit of how many emails. I know Joe talked about the quantity of the number of actual email addresses, but as far as actually sending these evites, um, 
probably the average is two to three e-bytes uh, that people send out prior to, but some do as many as five or six, others do. You know, so that's not a problem. You can order as many, and the fact that you've got a couple of different uh, templates to utilize, you can utilize one or all three and change up your message. So. Right, yeah, we've actually had several exhibitors that have placed multiple orders uh, for the emails. And, and uh, you know, once again, you know, just for this demonstration, we've chosen the template with um, two images. However, if you, if you would like to put place two or three orders, you, you're not limited to just um, one template. And you could also um, enter new orders. So if you have several different products or you know, products and or services, um, by all means you can use different templates at different times. Um, but as you know, as I just said, we have had several exhibitors that have placed multiple orders already. Uh, some of them have uh, you know used different templates, and for some of those that we are deploying, they've actually given us you know their deployment dates. And again, you know, we do encourage everyone to use the system early. And then and and use it often. You know, let everyone know you're going to be at the show. Let them know what your you know um, your new products are, your new services are. And then as you get closer to the show, you can do a reminder the day before the show. It's always a good idea. Just send another email out, um, you know, to remind them to come to the show. So again, use it early. Use it often. Once again, this program is 100% free, even uh, for the emails that we send out. It's all included in your package, so there's entirely no cost to you. Um, when we do send the emails out for you, if, if that's your choice, <clears throat> as I said, we're a third-party company. However, the email comes from you. So um, right here, the reply to email, that would be the from address. And the subject line would have the name of your company invites you to, ten, uh, to attend um, the Florida uh, restaurant show. So um, I think we've covered the emails pretty well. Uh, again, we'll be answering other questions. And actually to that, there is another question. And since we're talking about the contacts and that, this is a contact question. Um, the person here says, um, I see you need my name and phone number. Does it appear on my invitation? No, it doesn't appear on your invitation. The, the contact information at the bottom of that order form is basically for us. It, we have some people that will send us an image that is very low resolution, and so we have to contact them. That is strictly contact information for uh, ourselves and the customer service representatives here that are putting the, the orders together. If we have a question or there's, you know, say we find a typo or something like that, we can give you a quick call or shoot you a quick email and uh, just for clarification. Um, that's really all it is, but the information that you put into the actual order form is what comes out on the, the actual e-byte, but your contact re contact information just is for us to use on this end. Okay. Um, so uh, what I have up on your screen now is just a sample. Uh, you know, you've placed your e-byte order. Once again, your company name is here, booth number, website, um, your information under your various headings. And what we do is we process it, we resize everything as we've talked about as needed, and then we put in the registration link. Again, each exhibitor has a unique link. And you're going to receive an email just like this. Again, there's going to be a link right here. When you click on this link, you will be able to view uh, your email. At that time, if you like anything changed, maybe you don't like one of the images, maybe your logo um, you know, uh, the, the, you just don't like the way it looks, or maybe there's a typo, or possibly um, someone else in the office has looked at it and they want to change one of the paragraphs, not a problem. You absolutely do not have to, re, um, you know, submit an, a whole new order. You can just reply to the email that we send you, whether it's a new image that you would like replaced, uh, just let us know, you know, particularly if there's three images, are we replacing top right, lower left, lower right? Um, or if there's, um, you know, potentially a copy change, just let us know. It's heading one, paragraph one, and uh, you'd like it changed. So that's something um, you absolutely have an opportunity to make changes. You definitely see it, um, you know, before anything is done, particularly if we're sending it out for you. Uh, we just don't process it and send it out. Uh, again, you know, you will have an uh, ample opportunity to look at it and, and make any necessary changes.
Um, there's a question here in regards to the, the link that's used um, for the, the web banners. Um, the link that we provide to you, you really should use that link because that link, um, any of your customers or prospects that click on that link gives them the $65 on-site uh, free registration. So the link that we send to you in the emails that comes with your banners, you really do want to use those that link because it, um, it does tie into the fact that whoever clicks on that link to register does uh, does not have to pay that $65 fee. Okay, and um, you know, we're almost done. Lastly, with the email invitations, if you are going to be sending it out yourself, if you have you know, a, a licensed program like uh, Constant Contact or MailChimp, um, once you, you know, once we send you back the link, you would open it, you would extract the HTML file, and from there you would drop it into your template. If uh, for any reason you don't know how to or you're having problems um, extracting your, your HTML code, just reply to the email that we send you and let us know that you're having problems. We'll be more than happy to copy it. It's going to look something like this. And we'll just put it in a text box, um, you know, a, a text document, and send it right back to you. And uh, this way, you can just, uh, you know, then open up the the text doc and drop it in your template. Now, one thing I do want to point out: if you are using, uh, whether it's a proprietary system or a licensed system like Constant Contact or Mailchimp, please be sure to send yourself uh, and a test and make absolutely sure that the registration link is working. Um, we have had some calls over the years, not many, but a few calls where the registration link is not working. Um, unfortunately, we can't help you with that. You're going to have to call your provider, but in all cases, I know, you know that uh, the provider has been able to um, you know, correct their template so the registration link works. Because again, that registration link will give everyone the uh, the free admission to the show floor and save them the $65 on-site fee. Uh, so we're just about done with this webinar. We'll stay on uh, for another minute or two just to see if anyone does have any questions. Um, but while we're waiting, I just again I want to reinforce that this program is 100% free. It's included in the cost of your booth. Um, you are not limited to only using the um, web buttons. You can use all three web buttons. You can place multiple orders with the uh, email templates. <clears throat> um, like Kat said, the, um, you know, this uh, webinar has been recorded. And uh, once we're finished up today, we will get a copy over to show management. And they will post it to the site, alert you that it's up there. Um, if anyone has any questions, we'll be more than happy um, to answer them. You could always give us a call. Our contact information is up there. Uh, you can reach us right here at 203-563-9212, or you could email us at cusservice at urbanexpoinvitations.com. Uh, again, our customer service hours are from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time. So, um, you know, uh, we, we try and accommodate East Coast, West, West Coast, center of the country, um, and also, our, you know, many of our international exhibitors. If by chance, uh, you know, no one picks up the phone, by all means, please leave a message. You will get a response immediately. And, you know, one last thing, too, um, uh, it proposes to the questions that we have. For the most part, our orders are processed, um, you know, in a, they come into a queue and we process them as they come in. If you send in an order and you haven't received anything back from us within 24 hours, pick up the phone and give us a call or shoot us an email because once in a while we have that type of an issue and a lot of times it's because we've sent the order back to you and, it's, and it winds up in your junk mail or in your uh, spam folder. And a lot of times, you know, that, you know, not a lot of times, but uh, that does happen every so often. So again, if you place an order and you haven't received anything back from us within 24 hours, please pick up the phone and call because obviously there's a hiccup there. All right. And other than that, um, I, once again, I apologize for uh, the little technical issues that we were having, but everything seems to have worked out. And I think at this point... We yeah, we, can... we don't have any other questions. Yep. So uh, again, thanks for joining us today. Uh, if you do have any questions, I'll leave this uh, page up for a moment. 
Uh, you can always reach out to us, and I hope everyone has a, a wonderful, wonderful show in Florida. Thank you so much. At this point, um, we're going to conclude the webinar. Thank you very much.